and Sunday, guys. Hope your weekend's going well. During the open, Sunday is going to be more of a midline uh, body armor and recovery focused day. We're going to start today with a bunch of line drills. You can go through these in any order. But let's start with some knee to, knee to chest. Grab your knee, pull it up, and walk forward. Then we'll do a cradle stretch where we have one hand under the ankle, one hand under the knee. Then we'll go into a walking Samson, fingers interlaced overhead, or a walking lunge with a twist to the side. Then a over the hurdle stretch, pretend there's a hurdle to the side, step up and over that hurdle. Then some floor sweeps. And turn around, coming back. We can go with high knees, fast feet, followed by butt kickers, still keeping those feet moving quickly, followed by some side shuffles. Side shuffles and karaoke drill. Nice, Chris, you're fast. Did you play any sports growing up? Nothing, okay, track. Okay, did y'all do this stuff? A little bit, okay. Um, high knees or uh, toe touches. Awesome. And then we can go with toes out walking, toes in walking, walking on the heels, walking on the toes, and then just uh, two footed jumps. Cool, so work through a bunch of line drills to get your heart rate up and get the lower body feeling good. Then for mobility, up dog stretch. Drop down to the floor, you're in a push up plank, sink the hips to the floor as you push your chest up. Hang out here for 45 seconds. Then go into some forearm stretches. Alternate between having the fingers facing back, fingers facing to the side, fingers facing forward, you can rock to the side, you can rock forward and back, you can flip the palms up and work through those positions again. And then we'll finish in the tabletop stretch. Hold for 45 seconds. So we'll be on the ground, facing up, push the hips up to extension. Should feel this stretching out the hips, shoulders, biceps, forearms, while also activating the lower back, hamstrings, and glutes. 45 seconds here. Sunday's workout is take a lap, four rounds for time. We're gonna start with a 40 second hanging L-sit. Keep your arms straight as you hang from the bar. Keep the feet squeezed together. Try to get the toes above the hips, accumulating 40 seconds in that hanging L-sit. We have a lot of scaling options. First one's gonna be a hanging knee tuck. Have the knees tucked above the hips, accumulating 40 seconds or you can turn the fingers into a, or turn the hands into a pronated grip, so hands facing back, and then try either that hanging knee tuck or hanging L-sit. That uh, hand position should make it a little bit easier. Other options are gonna be a hollow hold on the floor. Instead of 40 seconds, we're gonna accumulate a minute in the hollow hold, or 40 sit-ups. So pick whichever option works well for you. Then with a pair of kettlebells or dumbbells, we're gonna perform a 200 meter farmer's carry. So pick up your objects, keep them hanging at the side, tall, proud chest. Don't let those shoulders sag forward or your chest to drop down. We're going 200 meters, Set the dumbbells or kettlebells down and rest as needed. Accumulate a full 200 meters in your farmer's carry. Christy, what do you think about to avoid thinking about setting the dumbbells down when you're doing this? Uh, just holding on tight, pulling my shoulders back, arms in tight to the side and looking straight ahead. There we go, a lot of good cues. After your farmer's carry, one minute per side in a side plank. We're gonna be on the forearm, stack the feet on top of each other, push the hips to extension, and we're gonna hang out here one minute per side. Four total rounds. For the home gym variation, 
Uh, nothing really changes. We're going four rounds of a one minute hollow hold, 200 meter double dumbbell farmer's carry. If you only have a single dumbbell, you can increase the distance or just switch hands as needed. And then a one minute side plank per side. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you're doing well and see you later.